And then we can bring the microphone up and turn the music back on. And I'll turn the music down in my ears. And there we go. That should bring us all up to speed. Hey guys, what's up? Been a week. Hope you all had good use of your time. I sure as hell didn't. I was at a convention all weekend from Thursday on, so that was a complete waste of my time. But what wasn't a waste of my time was hanging out with the friends I have there. So, you know, it's kind of twofold. Anyway, uh, what struck me as a fun idea is just take some pictures around the convention of a few places in the merchandise area and inputs, you know, some OCs, some of the D&D characters I play with and as. So that's what we're going to be starting on today, doing that, maybe work it through for a while, maybe I'll do some on my own, you know, we'll just see how things fancy and strike me, that's all. Um, it was a fun time. I had a fun time. I had, you know what, we're going to find this out real quick. Here. We're going to learn something together. What is an empirical? What is an empirical? Here. Oh, I lost. There we go. No, not an empirical study. Okay, empirical is a flavor company. Okay. Anyway, the only re okay, I'll just look at something up real quick, but uh Yeah, we you know many 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 uh fun times were had. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Anyway. Um, but yeah, fun times were had, um, Doritos alcohol was had, uh, pumpkin spice malort was had, so you know, no one really had a good time, no one really had a good time there, but we did have a good time at the same time. I really can't find out what kind of alcohol the empirical is. Don't know if it's a vodka or a thing like that. It's clear, so it might be considered a vodka. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's... It exists. We had it. Um, it was like a stale bag of chips kind of thing. It was... It was a whole thing. It was a whole ass thing. Uh, let's see. Here's our sketch layer. Our sketch folder, and we have our colors and our lines as usual. That's that's that. I want more capitalization there. And then within these, You know what? If we just copy these twice over. Uh, yep. Duplicate layer. And duplicate that layer. Because. That's who be in this picture. It's just going to be Sarah and Gore for now. You know what? We'll be adding some background characters too, I think. Instead of just having the people people back there, I think we'll also add some other characters in there too. 
I'll be sprinkling them in throughout as later. So there we go. But yeah, the, the, the pumpkin spice malort. Um, you could taste the pumpkin spice, and the and and the pain was also there. The pain was also there. So, you know. But yeah, no, the uh, the Doritos. That um, it 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 smelled like Doritos. It tastes like a stale bag of Doritos. But that really wasn't all that smooth. So you know, it kind of just really punched you when you took the shot. So that's what that was. All right, let's see here. Let's just go. Uh, body, arms, hands, head, hair, face. We'll put arms and legs in there. Tail also gets one. Get our layers up. Hair. Oh, uh, let's see here. Tail. Wings. Crossplay, yeah. And then I'll have another one for detail for some more details. There we go. Oh, uh, the wings might be taken. I guess I'm still pretty much that's just gonna be like a cave, I think. Uh, details here, there we go. It's already a lot of layers to work with. Oh, smoke's rolling. Cold. Okay. So we've got her basic. I already threw down a rough uh, idea of how I want them to look. Now I just need to kind of finalize that. Obviously, gotta make him a little bit bigger. But yeah. And I also realize that now that I've actually got like uh, real world references, I can actually make them pretty close to how tall they'd actually be. Obviously, I never really took any measurements, but if we can guess, you know, like by the length of this table, um, like I imagine this Godzilla's probably no higher than three, maybe four feet. It looks like it's a cost. Yeah, it looks like it's a costume actually going off this, uh, going off that vent right there, maybe. They don't have the feet inflated, so yeah, that, but no, like the, again, this table there, these what long tables are usually what roughly six feet or something like that. Let's take a look at your folding table length. Uh, quick, just a quick search here. Yeah, seven one seven point. 71 inches, 71 inches, what I'm seeing. 48 inches. Yeah. You're at your, your average table, yeah, probably about 71 inches or so. And then, just a feet, I want 71. Yeah, it's just under, just under six feet, that's like 5.9 feet long or if we just go six that's 72 inches yeah 72 inches yeah it's probably yeah it's like six feet so yeah that, roughly that table is probably six feet so he'd be he'd actually be a good foot taller than that looking at that actually that's what we could do roughly is we can make one more layer here we'll just call that the height layer and let's make that red
Grab the marker pan. Let's make 25. And then we'll just take this. That's roughly straight, I think. I, I know how to handle that. I know how to answer that question, actually. Basically, we just put it right up against the uh, edge of the picture here. I'll just use that as a ruler. That looks damn close to straight right there, so we'll call that good. We'll just call that six feet. And there we go. We could just use that now as our general reference on how tall things are going to be. Wasn't that bad? She actually needs to be just a little bit shorter than that, because Sarah's about 5'7", I think it is, or something like that. So yeah, her face goes right into man boobs, so you know, that's something she's not going to complain about, though, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah. So, got that going for us. Let's go ahead and just turn that down to like 25 or so and maybe 30 or 40 yeah 40 I think is a good number there we go have an idea of what the background is going to be and then obviously uh, we've got actually we should we do probably should make a full backfill As for this, that has a huge difference actually. That just just adding that in there really makes that black stand out now. Actually, I should say it's kind of neat actually. Anyway. So how are you guys doing? How was your weekend? How was your week, rather? I hadn't seen you. I haven't seen you guys since last Monday. No, since, since Saturday before that. I'm sorry. I was out last Monday because uh, something else I unfortunately had to plan about that to happen before the stream, but did bleed over into stream time. So I, so I had to take Monday off as well. Anyway. Let's get our mechanical pencil back out here. And she's definitely gonna be holding they're definitely gonna be holding hands. Um basically because they're gonna be cosplaying Godzilla and Mothra. Is this idea here. I just don't know which way I want her body facing. I don't know if I want it facing to the left or to the right at the moment. Uh...
Hmm. Well, you know, let's start on the big jump first, actually, I guess. Because his body position really doesn't need to change much. It's just going to be kind of like a strange mirror for him. Body, arms, hands. That's me hitting the uh, capitalization button instead of the A button. Head, face. Just tail there first. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, we're actually, let's see, time lapse. Go ahead and just record this time lapse. See if we get this going. Okay. So, for his body, let's go ahead. First off, we're get our basic height here. We'll move this over by him. Kind of use that as like going from his heel up his spine. So he's got. So he's got to be about a good foot, basically a foot taller than this, which probably isn't that far off from here. Uh, basic rule of thumb with drawing is figure out how many heads tall things are. Hey there, Grimos. So yeah, basically his shoulder, you know what? Probably the round of his shoulder will come about to here and the rest will, and he'll be about a, about a head taller than that line. So it's, we've got that going for us now, so. His whole thing. I probably should grab some uh, reference images, actually. Let's go ahead and snag some of that, actually. So I know I've got it's either chest or... Yeah, there it is. Let's go with that one. Ooh, we look at the artistic examples. We can't have that. We just can't have that. Let's go ahead and flip this, actually, though. Turn this layer off actually, and we'll turn this one off at the moment. Uh, Already gonna need to change that a little bit. Well, no, because that's basically the beginning of the waist anyway, so.
There. Oh yeah, we just cheat and do that also. I do do the legs later. So it should be legs, lower body, just, you know, same thing. Let me just get another reference out real quick. Hmm. Any of these poses currently helping? I don't think so. Probably should have just grabbed a. Uh, I probably should have taken a picture previously, actually. Because that is one thing I have done is just use. Uh, just pose action figures up. And use that for just reference poses. Just right off the bat. And that does, like, if you just. It cuts down so much time instead of just looking for. Uh, Obviously, looking for reference to things like that. Oh, whoopsies. No, there we go. I guess we'll just follow. I've already got here. I can obviously put details in later of how he will be dressed up. That is a mechanic can say I'm using. Okay. I think I'll have the shoulder or elbow rather on the outside because he's because I put these little like little elbow pads on him and sometimes those can be hard to figure out what I want to do with them. So we'll just put those on the outside here. his head will include his neck in on that I am trying to slowly start to alter his neck from just a basic just head and neck design to more kind of just something that flows more into his shoulders it's like a beefier thicker neck so I'm eventually going to try and do with this do with him so let's give that a try here it's kind of now I'll just kind of let's turn off this layer real quick. Our basic idea layer. So 
So I've done it well once before. Uh, let me grab that image here. No, that's Allie's sketch. I'm going to add your big stupid chunk. There it is, that's physical. Yeah, I did that. I did this one last year just off the cuff. Someone brought a drawing pad in it. And I was too drunk to realize that, hey, you know, there are things to actually draw in here. So I just tossed the, you know, his, his dumb face on there. Definitely got to bring that up. Bring this back up a little bit more now. Hmm. All right. Uh... I really don't want him squinting. I do want to, like, give him, like, a surprise look. Just like, the hell? Oh, it is May the 20th. Look at that. That's right. Today is May the 20th. Remember, clanners, to get bent weirdos. Space AT&T has said, fuck off, inner sphere's closed. We're full. Ooh, that's actually a good follow right there. Hmm. That's how she does it. I kind of followed the same idea. Nope, cancel. That's too big, I think. This does go more lower jaw, though, actually. I get the upset look. He's a, he's got resting piss face. I can get that done easy enough on him. There's other emotions that I have that I want him to convey are the hard ones. Oh, 
know, so let's do something else about the rest of this fucking head, too. Maybe it's all just the wrong size. Also, I didn't really. I, honestly, I really did start this the wrong way. I usually start with that mutt with the uh, snout and work out with that. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's go ahead and try that. See if that works. Okay, you see, without the head, that's already looking like a good shape. That's actually shaping up pretty decently, if you ask me. The head shape was off, then. That's what it is. You know what? Let's go ahead. Tilt that up a little bit, too. Oh, hey, we got a follow there. Oh, no, the subscription. I'm sorry. Subscription plan has extended their subscription for 21 months. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Thanks for uh, continuing to participate in the madness. However, it is you choose to participate in the madness. It's not actually that bad, but I honestly think like it's all like too forward. Let's pull it back. Yeah, recentering it on, recentering on his head a little bit. I think on his chest a little bit. I think helps. Shrinking down the body size might help again. Might, might help a little bit. Uh, also, just yeah, bringing the chest in. I think redoing that could help. Let's pull that. Let's bring the original one up. Yeah, that is a lot different. Uh, turn the head off. Let's turn these off real quick. Nope, nope. Not those. It's the uh oh. Well, what layer is that on? I mean, that's fine. That could be on the arms layer. Is there nothing on this layer? Nope, there is nothing on that layer. Good, okay. The chest is about, yeah. I think the chest does need to come down to like size. It needs to come down just a little bit, though, kind of. Bring it in. I'll change it around a little bit. Let's get back up to that. From here. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and make those bots happy there. Just have to remember not to save that picture when we exit out. We're a good Christian stream here. We don't we don't have the nipple show. We're getting flagged for sure for saying that now. I'll do this out of details, actually. Just make them a little bit bigger.
Yeah, because that does, like, his, like his shoulders come up under here. So that's fine. Go ahead and modify that just a little bit. What is is this? It's this one. I'm not. I'm not a fan of that pack right there. Is what it is. There we go. Layer. Get rid of that layer. Okay. I'm just going to the body layer itself and just. Uh, well, I mean, no, he doesn't have nipples in the first place. I'm just talking about the uh, reference picture up here. We don't have nipples up there. We're, okay, we're a good Christian streaming channel. We don't say things like wieners or butts. Shit, we just said wieners and butts. Oh, there goes our TV PG rating. Let's get rid of this for now, actually. Uh, so, turn this back on. This other hand will be about here. And her hand's roughly going to be here holding his. I get a rough idea of how that would look. Can move him back to get more of like that. Extend his arm out, push him back, get more of that. Uh, like she pulled him over sort of thing. So that would be. That could be about there. So that hand, like, yeah, that hand would have to move out, so. If we just grab 
grab this layer real quick. It should be just... Oh, that's her, that's her layer. Whoopsies. Here, his arm. Cancel. All right, there is something in there that I don't know where it is. So let's go ahead and just... There we go. What was there is now gone. So roughly... Cancel. Let's go ahead and just duplicate this layer here. Even then, I'm also starting to get more of an idea, too, of uh, how to pose this even more. So, you know, let's hold things here. Okay, that. Keep her there. Turn that off. Grab everything else right now. Move it back. Because... To be kind of pulling him forward is what it is. So he's going to be hunched a little bit, not standing up straight, but hunched a little bit. So that's going to be that arm here. We're going to cut this up a little bit. Well, that's in details, isn't it? Yes, it is. No, apply transformation. So what I want then, grab these two. Add the hands to this. Zoom out a little bit, just make sure. Playing where I want to. Go. Nope, hold on. We're right about there, I think. It's good. So I can actually kind of stay in that position. Just kind of like fumbling over himself. Yeah, right now it's just a head spikes. I can play with those on their own in a second here. So I don't need them. So we just need these two then. Grab that. Move it forward. Move his face up a little bit though. I just grab these real quick. Zoop. That really helps me to to uh, figure out what I want to do then with uh, his legs. So that really helps there. So legs can now actually be doing something. Uh, just see, which one do I kind of want where? Let's 
So again, let's just start looking at some, re some reference images. See if any of this will Nope, not that one anyway. Clip art, anything in here, anything in the reference folder. Simon says open up. Kind of. That one might work. That was a decent idea of how legs could. decent idea of where they can sit at. Obviously I'd probably move the waist off a little bit more. And that big chunk of a tail of his mostly drags behind him. For the cosplay, he'd uh, be wearing an open vest. Which is what they would have the Godzilla spines attached to. And let me think here. Of course he has pants on. Yeah, smart enough to have pants. I mean, I don't know where my camera's at right now, so I don't know. So I really couldn't provide head pats. Um, 
<clears throat> and then Godzilla's just got smaller spikes on his head. Funny thing is, Gore himself also has his own set of spines. That would be in the picture. I'll work on his expression in a second. Let's get this other arm in here now. Uh, let's see. So, Turn this off right now. That way I don't get these two arms confused. Also erase his hand too. Hmm. Uh, this is left. Once again, I'm actually looking at my own physical arm now to try and see what all kind of falls where. As far as how this would look. I know it's not a whole, I know it's really doesn't say much about what you're looking at, but you know. Again, that's all part of the art process, is just using what references you have on hand. This just happens to be the most, the quickest thing I have on hand is quite literally, well, my hand. I am not as beefed up as this chunk is, but, you know, the basic arm structure is there with, you know, the, the wrist and the elbows and the, and the forearm and the whatnot. The such. Actually, what might be a good reference for that it could be this. Ooh, or it could also be where's it at? Not the original, yeah. And add on. I did another one. Or is that here in Clip Studio, in my clip folder? No, not that one. Not that one, not that one. There it is. That one's an old one, but that's got an idea for the for the forearm there. That's back when I put pupils in my picture. Damn, the side of that head turned out pretty good right there, actually. Okay, I'm going to go back and look and study that real quick. Going back to his head. You know, that kind of just flies up. That just squishes up in there, huh? I'll take this off. There it 
I do want to give it that pulled look, so I probably will show more of the bicep here than I do up here. So. As opposed to a pretend arm, or no arm at all, rather. And again, that's just the shoulder right here. There's not much in the shoulder. Turn her hand off real quick. Then, oh God, fudge, hand. We all know how, you know, good we are at hands here. Uh, let's see. Well. Essentially, that's an idea of where things would be at. Even though the wrist is a weird thing too, and how just 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 how things can move and bend, and other things don't move that much. Like how you can see both the inside of your elbow and the inside of your hand. But you could twist your wrist, see the back of your hand, and still the inside of your elbow. That's just weird. That could be weird sometimes. It's just not look right. So I guess the way this is being pulled. Yeah, we'll do. Basically, we'll do open palm here. That's the basic idea. So, thumb, fingers. Feel the palm. And if her hand is, is her right hand. Oh, you know, I've actually got a little reference, a hands chart for this. I got to find it, though. Could actually be good for how they're holding their hands. And the, fun, and, and, and the neat thing about this little hand chart is just... There it is. There it is. Ah, uh, kind of like that. I really want it holding. Yeah, this one's yeah. That one's got three fingers and a thumb. So I'd want her grabbing his middle and index finger, similar to this one. So let's go ahead and actually. Snag this. I'm gonna copy that. Note save. Let's go ahead and drop that there. Kind of pull and bring it down. Let's go ahead and flip that. Let's just go ahead and just 
See if we can't play with the size of it right now. That might not be a bad size. How's it compared to his other hand at the moment? Not bad. Let's bring it down a little bit. All right, turn this off. Let's go ahead and get rid of it now. All right, now that we don't have that in our way anymore, hands idea. Probably should be a little bit bigger now that I'm looking at it. If I run, Then hers is essentially like that. His thumb a little bit over her fingers, but like I said, and then we got Let's see how that looks actually. That might not be bad. That might not be bad. Well, obviously we're going to figure out the rest of her to see what that is. Let's see. Well, welcome back, Remos. You shall paint mechs, huh? You shall paint mechs, eh? Well, wonderful. Now we can actually change his expression a little bit here, which I think will help. So, why aren't you going to go ahead and rename to extra layer. We'll just use this extra layer now for uh, base framing and redrawing over. So I think that would be a good use of it. So that actually turned out pretty well here. All right, what else is in this base frame? Aha, uh -huh, just a little... Right, there's nothing else in this extra layer. But what we'll do this extra layer for now is kind of get that mouth uh, changed up a little bit, I think. Mouth, his eyes, and things like that. Turn this off. You just get just get just a little more. He's actually got a big snaggle tooth on the other side that would poke through, or it would show rather. For 
his face. Yeah, let's, what do we have it looking like right now? I think if we just we, it's the thing is rounding out his eyes is always the issue. Because this very just like you see in up up in this one. Just this very sharp look to his eyes just helps it out. Gives him that real again, that real resting piss face look. Angry. Wow. Shit. Well, you see, sometimes you just let a sketch go and it just looks better than what you're actually working on. God, that stupid little sketch looks pretty good. Holy crap. You see what happens when I don't even try? I do better when I don't even try. Oh, that hurts to look at now. <laughs> oh, it hurts to look at now. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to take this and move it off to the side. This is like that two we did. It's like that two we did. And now, if we were to, like, okay. Alright, you know what? You know what? Be gone. Be gone, extra layer. I really do... Man, damn, both those snouts look good. Uh, right, let's duplicate this layer again. We're going to call it stupid, good, good, stupid face. You're just going to call us what I hate that I wasn't trying. Let me just take this one. We're just going to drop it right there. We drop it right there. We turn that face layer off. Okay. I mean, it looks good. Not necessarily. It's ob obviously it's not the expression I want at the moment. It's not the expression I want, and face is way too stubby. Yeah, bring it out a little bit. I think helps. Move that back. And I think if I try to bring out the, s the snout. Not that part. Oh. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, transform, mesh transformation. Okay, yeah, that lets me take different areas and play with it. Actually, isn't that bad. But I want more of a full transformation, though. I think I want something more like distort here. It's not that bad. 
but we're going to go back and I want to keep the eyes. I want to keep the eyes, but again, it's just, God, I hate I wasn't trying and it just came out. That just came out of nowhere. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad start. Um, On this side, he's got a couple of teeth that stick out on top. Okay, th okay, this is looking better. This is looking better. Um, but yeah, he's his depending on the side of his face you're looking at does depend on which teeth you see. You're always going to see the uh, two fangs on top, and then if you're looking at the right side of his face, you've got two peeking out the top. But if you're looking at the left side of his face, you've got one at the top and one at the back there. So he's not straight on alligator, he's not straight on crocodile. He's a mixture of both. But no, this really if this is this this extra layer really is. That stupid, stupid face is really helping bring out where I want it to go. And I think then if Okay, so what we'll do is we'll turn the face back on. Let's go ahead and get rid of that whole layer here. Let's put it on this layer now. Turn this off real quick. Okay, that's just that's just laid on thick. I'll put the teeth up in the in the uh let's turn this off again. Teeth in the details layer here. Those will be smaller lines when it comes to the actual uh, inking layer, I'll say that much. Yeah, it's a crocagator. Lizard folk, crocagator, aloe dial, you know. Whichever way you want to refer to that at, as. He's mostly green like an alligator, but he's two-toned like a crocodile. Sounds like a T-Rex when he's really pissed off. There we go. I think that helps smooth that out a little bit. Um, do think it does need to be 
increase the size a little bit. Go for that. I'm also going to actually really need to grab the cosplay too. I'll just stretch his head out this way a little bit. this up real quick. Alright, see this is where I'm losing at right now is this head shape in this one. But still, god damn it's stupid good. Seven twenty. Go ahead and hit that save button because man we've actually did quite a bit uh today we pretty much already completed his pose uh basically just got to go what i think i'll try and do before next week is i'll probably either use cooler or broly one of the two fig one of those two figures maybe even uh orange piccolo so i've got those as figure arts i'll pose them up in a similar pose to kind of get where more of the joints need to be at and where more of the musculature should sit at as well. Uh, no. Cobalt Dragon Board Dwarves. Because, yeah, kobolds are more dragon like than lizard like. Stupid lizard. Uh, but yeah, next week uh, when we come back to this, uh, definitely we'll finish up the detail, his details, and we'll, and yeah, well, yeah, we'll move on to Sarah too. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. We got, uh, we've got art submissions too. Oh yeah, we do have art submissions too, because you guys share off your, uh, uh, mini paintings and things like that with Hal and, and all of them. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Or if you're, you know, drawing along, doing whatever the heck you want too, you know, feel free to share that. I'm sure I'll see it one way or the other. Uh, but yeah, pretty much wind down for the night here. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Make sure these don't save any changes I made. Because I do not want these pictures altered in any way, shape, or form. Well, that one, well, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, 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 we'll put the crosses on next week, even though we might actually be done. But we're going to go ahead and hold that off here. Um... So, let's just go ahead and just pop on the backdrop real quick. I know if I turn if I turn the backdrop up real all the way, you, again, you won't really be able to see him. But, you know, bring it down to that 40 really does, with that coloring back there really does help that pop out. So, yeah, it's not, it's not turned out pretty deep, pretty good so far. Uh, did pretty good. So, but yeah. Go ahead and save one last time. So, yeah, you guys have a good rest of your evening good rest of your week and uh, i'll catch you saturday like 95 percent sure i'll be back saturday for system saturday so you guys uh you guys take it easy all right <laughs>